Hi folks, this is Max from HTCVoHacks.com um, So I've got the ROM of the week for the EVO 3D I'm sorry, it's been more like a ROM of the month I've been very busy um, You know, I've got a life like every one of you guys But I've got the ROM of the week I've been actually trying a bunch of different ROMs I've been flashing like a bunch of different Jelly Bean ROMs um, None of them worked out that well um, And also I, I was trying some sense ROMs, but I was just kind of getting tired. Um, so I put MUI on both of my EVO 3D Sprint and uh, my GSM EVO. Um, probably for speed, the the Sprint MUI. Sorry, it's called, it's actually pronounced my UI, like my user interface. Um, I think the spelling's incorrect, but my UI. <laughs> so. The, here it is. I uh, featured this before, like months ago, but here it is again. Um, these are ICS versions of the MUI, my my UI. Um, there are Jelly Bean versions, but I don't recommend it. I don't know if they're actually available for the Evo 3D yet, uh, but I don't really recommend it because a lot of things are broken on the Jelly Bean. Um, but the ICS ones are pretty good. Um, the only thing missing is a 3D camera um, but I think most of you can probably live without it for the sprint version you can see if I do uh, 3D it'll go off but with the GSM version it's pretty flawless where is it oh camera right here um, even 3D works and uh, that's a pretty good news and also another note about the sprint version is that uh, 4G doesn't work uh, whenever I try to turn on 4G It'll just, you know, turn off. Anyway, let me get into the ins and outs of MUI. For those of you who don't know, let me adjust the camera a little bit here, a little bit higher. And uh, there we go. Um, pretty good. I'll just use one of these. Um, they're pretty much essentially the same. Um, let me take this one, actually. Because this one, that one's running out of battery. Um, the main thing with the MUI, uh, the first thing I'll tell you when you get this wrong on your phone is that at the home screen you can hold down the home button and use it as a flashlight that's really cool I really like it um, and also I'm actually running a custom theme here um, you can get a bunch of themes go to themes app go to online it's in Chinese because uh, the developers are I think from Taiwan or China so um, you know a lot of their themes are in Chinese but not a big deal you can kinda look at it try it out you can always switch back really easy um, I've got the Xperia theme right now actually but let me put it back onto the CE ROM theme um, for the GSM version this ROM is actually called C ROM CE ROM like that uh, my UI but it's pretty much a my UI ROM that you can do everything what happened my home buttons kinda slow there um, but very very nice ROM I really like MUI my UI I mean um, when it first came out it was kind of buggy and there was a lot of things not working but this one everything's working and uh, the settings is a little bit different but you'll get used to it very easy to use go to toggles um, let's say you want to mess with the Wi-Fi you can hold down the Wi-Fi go to straight to Wi-Fi here and uh, also there's a bunch of stuff there's no app drawer you'll find that it's kind of like an iPhone like you can search um, so for those of you who are coming from iPhone, uh, my UI ROMs can make you um, get used to Android faster, I guess, or kind of use it as an iPhone interface, if you want to call it that. Um, but very solid ROM, and let me show you the other one again, this is the Sprint version, and this is the ICS version, and everything's a little slightly different, you'll see, well, the gallery is pretty much the same there. Uh, settings, LED settings. Um, I don't think this is actually works. Let me see. Does it work? Oh yes, it does. So you can change the notification color. You can see there. Um, it doesn't support blue. Uh, purple? No, no, no. It's just gonna. It's actually not gonna change the color. Um, you're you're gonna definitely be able to use red though. <laughs> so that's one feature missing um, because the uh, Evo 3D doesn't support the different LED colors. Um, there's a bunch of stuff you can do, and uh, it's it's a pretty good ROM. 
And again, if I go to 4G settings for the Evo 3D Sprint version, um, it's going to force close on me. And the music app is really nice. When the music's running, um, you'll get a nice interface uh, in the lock screen, and you'll be able to stop it. Sorry, I didn't put it there. but Also, this one does has Beats Audio. Um, not sure on this one. I don't think the GSM version does. But for those of you with Sprint, you can get Beats Audio. And there's an installer. You gotta still install it. Just install it, and you should have Beats Audio. Um, news and weather. Let's check it out. Okay, that's kind of boring. And uh, let me see here. There's something called Movie Studio. You can make movies with it, I guess. Kind of, kind of interesting. Um, add movies here. Import video clips. Gallery. And. Okay, it's, it cannot be added for some reason. <laughs> Darn it. There we go. Okay. I don't know. It's it, I haven't got it, been able to get it working. Um, other than that, there's a ton of stuff you can do. Um, with the Sprint version, there's a kernel tuner that allows you to overclock. It's actually already overclocked to 1.728. Um, I don't really recommend you to overclock it, but you can overclock it all the way to 1.944 gigahertz if you want to. Um, maybe you're playing 3D games, you want to get just a slight bit of performance out of it, um, you can try that. Also you can tweak by CPU 0 or CPU 1. For the GSM version, um, you're not going to be able to get that. You can try installing set CPU, um, but I don't think this one has, this one doesn't have an overclockable kernel. Let me see here. Without phone. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, it might. It might. So go ahead and try. Uh, go ahead and try set CPU and see if that works. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Let me show you the lock screen here. Uh, but very solid ROM. And the reason why I'm featuring this ROM is that it's um, it's pretty solid, stable. A lot of the Newer Jelly Bean ROMs that are being tested, like you know, I was testing CM10 for both of these phones, and that's what I was going to feature. But you know, Netflix is broken. One of them, Bluetooth is not working. There's a lot more problems um, than ICS ROMs, so I'm sticking with the ICS ROMs for now. But I'm tired of Sense, and if you're tired of Sense like me, um, try the MUI ROM, my UI ROM, sorry, and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, but there, there's two different versions: one for your Sprint Evo 3D and one for your GSM. Try it out and let me know what you think. And again, you'll lose uh, 4G and also 3D camera with your Sprint version. The GSM version, um, everything should be there, so you should be all good. Um, and again, this one can overclock the Sprint version. Uh, but very solid ROMs, highly recommended as daily drivers. And that's what I'm trying to focus on, um, ROMs that I can recommend you as daily driver. It's not going to be fun to have a beta version of ROMs and you know but I'll, I'll have uh, full feature CM10 coming soon as soon as that's available and uh, I've been testing a bunch of different ROMs um, but so far this is what I really like this week and uh, out of all the ROMs out there um, especially I'm tired of Sense for right now <laughs> and also there's Sense 4.1 ROMs out there but you're not going to get 3G or camera working so it's kind of a deal breaker uh, but check it out, ROM of the week for your EVO 3Ds, uh, let me know what you think, and if you, if you have an EVO 3D, um, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at hccvohacks.com, we update you once a week, it's been more like a once a month, uh, ROM of the week, ROM of the month, and uh, it's a, also a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone, and if you like this video, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button up there, or wherever it is. And uh, share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Um, but my UI. Ooh. There's uh, actually Google Now on this one. I didn't know that. Um, probably you can hold down the menu button. Yeah, that's what it is. Ooh, nice. So I just figured that out. Um, you do get Google Now with the Sprint version. That's an extra plus. Let me see if it works on the GSM version. No, no, no. Just, just for the uh, Sprint version, you can get Google Now. Um, and uh, you know, do, do all those cool things like San Francisco Giants score. The Giants beat the 
Weather San Francisco. It's 70 degrees and cloudy and sick. Who's the smartest man in the world? Okay, there you go. Anyway, thanks you guys. Um, enjoy the rum and uh, have a great week. And uh, I gotta go try more rums. Rum, rum marathon.